things have finally arrived, so we're gonna do an unboxing video. I ordered some bits and pieces on Amazon to make some of my recording life easier. Thing number one, and probably the most exciting bit, is I got one of these. I have a new mount for my phone so it can go onto the tripod. This is the deal I've been working with. And we're going to resolve that by putting oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall the phone onto this little clip. This is what I used to use. Dropped it on my kitchen floor. I think I've been using it for three or four years to record concerts. I've taken it on tours with me. Cheap. Ten bucks. Smells cheap. Smells like less than ten dollars worth of stuff. But it held up pretty well. I now have two of them. So I can either mount two phones to act as cameras at things, or I have a backup in case I break something, which is... And oh, 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 oh yeah. Um, so now I'll be able to change this so I can point straight down. Maybe what my hands are doing. I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just hold stuff up. That's problem number one solved. I'll be able to put this on a standard tripod or a monopod and take my camera out, set it up for some pictures, some night shots, some rolls, vlog in general, and have a good time. The second thing is, using the microphone on my headphones is not that bad, but there's an awful lot of wind noise. So another order I've got is a dead cat, a big hairy bit to throw on top of a microphone to shield it from wind. And then I'll be able to talk to my heart's content while I roll around. The other thing I've been meaning to try, again, involving this, which has got XLR jacks on it, is connecting this lav that I got as part of a wireless kit that I serendipitously collected. I had no intention to have a wireless kit of my own, um, but somebody dropped one off. I was thinking maybe I'll buy a lav someday. Now, the connector on here is not an XLR connector. Instead, that is a what's called a TA4F connector. It's about half the size of what I need. So, um, yeah, this is for standard TRS, tip ring sleeve uh, connector for like uh, guitars. Uh, for effects sends and stuff like that and for plugging out of some kinds of mixers. Um, this doesn't fit in those and the bigger ring on the outside, that's for an XLR connection. So some of the rest of what I got was try me trying to get this plugged into this. So the first thing to look for is some kind of an adapter that turns one of these into an XLR. And I got that. I'm kind of scared about opening this because it's not the right thing. But you know what? I am going to use this for other stuff. This lets me plug a regular microphone into the wireless pack. So I can have a nicer microphone at a distance and not have to do some cable management. The sound quality won't be great, but if cable management is more the issue of the day, um, then this will do the trick. So I got this, which is lovely. This will plug directly. No. Problem number one. This is female on that end. So, la and voila, lady becomes a dude. And now, get plugged in here with any luck. Yep. So good. And I agree. This is not going to fit nicely in my backpack, but I think if I pack it in neatly and turn on lock, that should be okay, so long as I don't drop my backpack off of something. So far, so good. All right. So the other end of this cable brings me to the next problem. And I wasn't aware of it when I ordered it, but I suspected it could have been a thing. And the problem I'm gonna have here is that the other side of this cable is also female. And the microphone itself also is female. So, fun as that might be, it's not gonna get any audio communicated. So, no. What do I need to do then? I need to create myself an adapter because I could not find a male, uh, a male uh, gender change adapter like the one I found for the proper size XLR. This problem is a less common one. Usually you just want to get something into the wireless pack and done. You get regular ass microphones for every other situation. It's just, I happen to have this. This is a $150 lav. I'd like to use it. I have no other lav. My next cheapest option is about, well, probably not very good. The headphones that I plug into my phone. Easiest, but I don't want a cable tethering me to the phone when I'm out doing stuff. I'd like to be able to put this in my backpack and record my voice from far away and stuff. So. This is a solution I want to get working. When I teach electronic classes, one of the things I do often with my students is I MacGyver stuff. We make MacGyver headphone jack. So I'm gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna spend some time cutting up paper clips. I'll see you on the other side of that. That didn't work. Apparently it is much more complicated to connect a lavalier microphone to a regular XLR jack than that. So I'm gonna take it over to the university and work with my electronics kit to see if I can implement a conversion circuit that some diagrams uh, claim will work and that are offered by some uh, Chinese manufacturers for sale on Alibaba. 
see if I can get the sucker working. I didn't intend for this to turn into a work-related project, but hey, there it goes. I'm gonna take you to the university, not the way I usually go, but the way I usually come home. Right. <laughs> now, one of the reasons I typically avoid going this way is the sidewalks are not so fantastic in this direction. Here, I'm gonna go through the passage that I hate. I'm already on it. I don't know how much of that you can see. We're gonna try. War zone stuff. Woo! <laughs> and it's uphill going this way. So it's not a challenge, but it's, I have to think. I guess that makes it a challenge, doesn't it? Probably getting some interesting looks from people here. All right. So I'm on beautiful, beautiful sidewalk. And you're probably hearing all that wind. I can't wait for the dead cats to arrive later this week. I'm expecting Thursday or Friday. I want to know how much they improve the sound of wind. My ears, though, are picking this up, so I know that microphone is going to sound terrible. go around back of this building what a freaking waste I'm gonna do what pedestrians do walk through here <laughs> don't think that's the intended use I go. All right. So we're on that side. We'll be passing the construction as they're repairing the road. And we're almost done. More parking lots. Parking lots are fun. Whee. On your left, sorry. Hi. Scared those poor ladies. Flowers. At least they try. There's nice stuff to look at for parts of the year. I mean, I know, for international students, the snow is the real feature. They're out here with their phones checking it out all winter long. Every little snow flurry, every little bit of frost. For me, it's the warm, it's the green, it's the flowers. It's the ability to get out on my feet and roll around. That's what's fun. There you go. Goodbye. So I've tried it, and it's just too awkward trying to fit wires into the connectors without cutting the cables. And I just don't feel like cutting these cables. They've got uses as they are already. So I'm going to wait for the dead cats to arrive, see how they sound on my uh, headphones, microphone, and maybe just live with that um, and consider ordering the appropriate piece, pre manufactured at some future date for a reasonable price. I know I can get them for about 25 bucks, so maybe in a month or two. That's it for this project, oh well. Haha. -ha. My other shipment arrived, and it's time to test another thing. I'm gonna take a nice long roll across town to get my teeth looked at. And oh yeah, there's a lot of wind going by. Hopefully, this is taking care of that. Anyhow. Yeah, I had a root canal the other day. Feels actually fantastic. 
It told me it might feel bad, but it feels better, I guess, than the tooth was feeling before. But I couldn't tell the tooth felt bad, so I can't tell that this feels good. Does that make any sense? I just know that it should hurt to have a root canal, and it doesn't. And I'm pretty sure they did it. Anyway, I'm getting a 3D scan done of a tooth because I've got complex roots, double roots, and they seem to intertwine. So I'm trying to figure out if they can take care of some of my roots in-house or if they need to send me off to a specialist to have them done. This puff right here, hopefully eliminating some wind noise. Well, I could hardly be more pleased. I'm going to get up some real speed and hopefully, when I review this footage later, that'll also sound good. There's a subtle wind at the moment. All right, I'm getting some real speed up here. But I'm going as fast as I'd like to be able to go. I'd like to know how it sounds when I'm in a real wind. Can you still hear me when I'm just booking her? When I'm going down stuff? My ears are hearing noise. A fantastic load of noise, in fact. So that should be... If that cut that back, I'll be able to deal with a lot of stuff. Just, a, just my headphones. Hey! Uh, I think you can see from the sky that it's, it's overcast. And maybe you can tell from maybe a droplet or two that's going to hit the camera here that it is very definitely raining. I'm getting wet. This is unfun. I don't want this. I knew I was in for a lot of work. I was in for a bunch of root canals. And it looked to them from my x-rays that I got a little while ago that maybe, maybe I was in need of uh, some deeper work. And it's true. So I got a scan. And according to the scan, I've got a large abscess. Right about here. A lot of bone is missing and it's broke through to the sinus. Probably some time ago. Six years ago, I had a large filling done. Maybe even longer. I can't remember if it was before or after sabbatical anymore. I had headaches for what, six or seven months that finally resolved um, in part after I uh, went to my doctor after the dentist figured that there was nothing wrong that I'd get used to the filling. The doctor prescribed me some antibiotics and that offered some relief. So, yeah, they're going to do a root canal, maybe two. They won't be able to freeze me, so they're gonna knock me out. Cause there ain't no way I'm gonna sit while they drill out what's left of that tooth and do a root canal with no sedation. Mm -mm. So antibiotics. They're recommending probiotics, so I guess I'll do that. I don't know what this is going to mean for my sinus. Later, I'm going to go to a specialist who will open me up through the gums, drain the abscess, and possibly fill it in with a bone replacement. So I'm in for a good time here. Now, I was hoping I could get this dealt with in the summer, but no. Someone's going on uh, vacation or doing a lot of hospital work, I don't know, in August. So it's not going to get done in August before I go back to work. Instead, I've got my appointment for the root canal right in the middle of the exciting part of the semester, around September 20th. I wonder if I can arrange lab around it for one of my classes, because it's the one I teach by myself and have no subs for. And I'll have to arrange for the other lab instructor to sub for me and I'll do a double duty some other day. 